Hello Gannon family. With all that is new and the excitement of the new year, we have not forgotten what and who made Gannon a great college to work for and a special place to be transformed. It is our awesome colleagues and it's time again to honor our new GU Plus service leaders for their commitment to our purpose statement and service framework. This time we have five service leaders, including our first to be recognized on our Ruskin campus. Our first service leader is Dan Huber, who has nominated by Mallory Batani, Jeff Bloodworth, and Megan Loibel for his commitment to creating a seamless environment in which we can all serve our students. Dan has been commended for his breadth of knowledge of technology on campus and the speed and courteousness with which he responds to requests. Whether for an issue that is disrupting a faculty member's work over the weekend or a digital kiosk on an orientation day, Dan is always ready to put his skills to work. Most notably this year, Dan assisted colleagues across campus in creating more engaging virtual events during the pandemic to fight Zoom fatigue. From the IHAC dedication and blessing to the service recognition ceremony, to all our meetings and events in between, Dan has helped train employees in the maximum use of technology and served on the production crews to ensure events were successful. Dan lived out our service framework by making information and resources easily accessible and understandable, demonstrating soundness and flexibility in his decisions and partnering with others across the university to make improvements in the processes, programs, and events. Our second service leader is Zach Schaefer, who was nominated by Don Joy for his dedication to our engaged service standard in a way that benefits those he works with and our students. Graduate enrollment is expected to increase greatly this fall, due in large part to Zach and his team's efforts promoting our Ruskin campus programs and Erie programs that are appealing to global students. Zach is noted as a great listener and a brainstormer and immediately jumps in to make contacts when follow-up with a particular candidate would be beneficial. Going above and beyond his role securing enrollment, Zach ensures our newly incoming students are set up for success, set up for successful futures at Gannon by making connections. Zach lived out our service framework by being prepared to apply his knowledge and skills when serving others, understanding and promoting Gannon's mission and vision, and fostering a sense of belonging. Our third service leader is David Smith, who was nominated by Linda Mackin for always demonstrating the utmost respect in working collaboratively with students as colleagues and showing them appreciation. In addition to keeping our administrative and academic buildings clean, our custodial teams assist with deep cleaning in residence halls in the summer as well. There is also a team of students that assist in these efforts. David wanted to show appreciation for this hard work in helping his team, so he baked a delicious breakfast treat for them to enjoy. Our student workers loved the breakfast, appreciated his kind words, and his demonstration of respect motivated them to continue giving their best to make the move-in experience for all our residential students the best it could be. David lived out our service framework by making eye contact, smiling, and greeting individuals, initiating conversations to build connections, acknowledging the efforts and the celebration of success of others, and fostering a sense of belonging. Our fourth service leader is Mary McDermott, who was nominated by Almi Korkin and Melissa Lesniewski for exemplifying respect to colleagues by taking time out of her day to assist others in caring for our students, as well as the non-human species that call our university home. Mary was nominated for taking time to stop what she was doing to assist a colleague in saving a heron that was disoriented and stuck in the Morosky courtyard. Though she was setting up for a busy day of orientation, Mary couldn't leave the heron to fend for itself and called in Adam uh, Stanzik 
to help her catch the bird and then assisted him with every step, even driving him to the bayfront to release the bird safely before returning to her duties. Mary's calm, compassionate approach to live to life encourages us all to care for those in need. Mary lived out our service framework by offering assistance and being willing to help using care and maintaining facilities and equipment and following safety procedures and policies. Finally, being recognized as our first service leader on our Ruskin campus with our newly installed service leader wall, we have Ray Van Wy. Ray was nominated by Diana Lunsford for being a prime example of an engaged teammate. Ray finds ways to be involved in all of the action at our Ruskin campus outside his classroom. Ray has stepped into leadership roles to assist with simulation training and multiple guest lectures in other departments, offering his collaboration for interprofessional opportunities. Ray promotes the Gannon family atmosphere with his positive presence and is known among colleagues and students alike as a trusted and admirable employee. Ray lived out our service framework by actively seeking opportunities to expand his skill set, participating in university meetings, activities and events, and serving the university and its communities through committees, volunteer work, and special projects. Congratulations again to our service leaders, and thank you for your dedication to the GAN experience, to our students, and to each other. We are looking forward to hearing more of your stories, recognizing the good work of colleagues in the weeks ahead, and we, as we reunite on campus for the start of an exciting new academic year. There is much to look forward to in the weeks ahead, and we are looking forward to it all together and in person. I can't wait to see you, and God bless.